Students at Hagara Primary School were excited to return to classes in Term 2, but the unpleasant environment was not welcoming. I can't be done with it. We followed senior teacher Karen Ray around the school to try and establish the source of the problem. Because we had heavy rains in Term 1, and when we came back in Term 2, this is what we saw. The, the, the drainage, drainage has, has, um, has spread out to a lot of areas in, in the field, and we feel that it's not safe for the children, especially the little ones, because when, we, when they come out, they start running in the waters. She said it all started when they spotted water running down from the toilet area, thinking it was from the taps. The water is so bad, it's so smelly, and it's un unhygienic for the children to, to be kept in the schools. So we had to send them home. We had no choice but to send the children home. We, we know that it wasn't, it wasn't um, uh, correct to send children home as early as 9 o'clock, but we had to for, for their safety. Not only is the foul smell unbearable, but the leakage is flowing into the classrooms and surrounding areas, including the assembly ground. Our office knows about the, the problem here now, and, and we, we feel that the NCD Education Division should step in and, and look, at, look at this uh, problem. We feel that it's very serious. We're talking about children here. The school has sent the students home for an indefinite period but are urging authorities to fix the problem as it is affecting their learning. Godwin Eki, National MTV News.